So we've got our live lightning round coming up, and this is crazy. We're just we're gonna see how this is gonna work. Oh, on the radio, you're live with Hoo-Ha, Drive at 5 on Power 85, living alive, feeling the live, wow. All right, let's call Mr. Darth Buick and see what he's up to. Hello? Hey, what's going on? You're on the radio with Hoo-Ha, Power 85. <laughs> hey, buddy, how's it going? <laughs> I just Mr. Uh, out here so I could hear you. Yeah. So, uh, Mr. Darth Buick, how are you doing? Oh, you know what? By the way, it's I'm gonna keep playing this on. Never mind. Uh, so you are in Victoria? Is that what it is? Yeah, Victoria, BC. Just uh, relocated here from Ottawa, Canada. Auto. You know the way you say Ottawa. It has the Canadian accent, but as I'm listening, it also sounds like the same way that people from Boston talk. Yeah. You know, like we're going to go in Ottawa, and we're going to park a car down the yard in Ottawa. Yeah, well, sometimes I definitely have a thick Canadian accent. It's hard to hide some every every now and then. You should start in a Napoleon Dynamite movie, because you just have an adorable accent. It's like super Canadian accent, eh? I can't tell if you're putting that on or... <laughs> All right. <Neither> can I? <laughs> so, what do you say that we get started with the lightning round? You're not going to hear the music, but the, everyone else is going to hear the music. All right. All right. Sounds good. So, this is the Vox Populi Chicken Poxuli lightning round. All right, Mr. Darth Buick. Are you there? Yes, I am. Uh, are you ready for some craziness? Are you ready yeah, for you're, some... Yeah, you're breaking uh, up just a little bit. Oh, that's the beauty of live radio. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I'm going to ask you a series of trivia questions for money, and you better get them right, or else... Just or else. I think I know, I think I know the gist of it, maybe. Okay. Well, I've got the... The dramatic who wants to be a music millionaire music ugh, ugh, you know what i mean and uh i'm gonna get started and we're just gonna go all right all right let's do this so for five hundred dollars what is your favorite dinosaur uh triceratops triceratops and why um i don't know because they're retro they have a triangle you know try triceratops you're going with the like the pyramid thing? Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> I like how <laughs> I like how you just like you're off the dome. That was great. Um, so question number two for a thousand dollars. Have you ever been camping? Yes, I go camping all the time. Really? I Let's live, talk about it. I live us. on the west coast. I live on Vancouver Island, man. So do you live like in a bunch of like lush greenery? Um, well, I live in Victoria, so it's pretty nice. Like, I live by the beach and stuff, but uh, just a uh, close drive away, there's, like, huge, huge trees and crazy mountains and all kinds of stuff. Question number three. How crazy are those mountains? So crazy. <laughs> oh, yeah. The mountains are crazy, brother. Just like at the top of the show, Takahashi Jones. <laughs> Uh, so, question number four. Are you ready, Mr. Darth Buick? Yes, I am. Did you pay your taxes this year? <laughs> oh, God. Well, hopefully Revenue Canada is not listening to this, but I haven't paid my taxes since 2012. Oh, shit. Somebody <laughs> send a personal email to Justin Trudeau. Yeah, nobody, nobody, uh, you know, nobody rat me out on that one. All right, moving along. It's time to get serious. Just letting Let's the music this. play for the fans a little bit, just to... Oh, it's so scary. Okay. Next question is, very seriously... Wait, do you have a girlfriend? Do you have a wife or something? Yeah, I do, yeah. <laughs> well, which? Which? Yeah. The girlfriend. Girlfriend, Soon okay. to be wife, probably. Well, just because it's like mad lips for this question. Okay, so, question number something. Your girlfriend sent me a message... 
and asked me to ask you, who do you think you are? <laughs> I don't really know how to answer that. Oh, well, you better answer because I'm serious. That's your girl. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, baby. I don't know who, who I think I am. That's it? That's what your response is? Just a cower? I have to That's say, I'm point. gonna dock you 1,000 points for acting- I'm a man, god damn it. No, 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 you can't backtrack on that. I will not oh, let shit. you backtrack Sorry. on that. Okay, so, uh, let's get uh, into questions that aren't as hard or awkward. Okay, for $9,000, what was your favorite Saturday morning kid show growing up? Oh, that's a tough one. Um, I don't know. Beetlejuice is a good one. Oh, the, the gonna, animated one, right? Yeah, I'm going to go with the animated Beetlejuice, yeah. That's great. That's a... Uh... No, I'm singing Bobby's World. <laughs> Bobby's World is also a good one. I can't remember what the intro music was like for, for the Beetlejuice, but it was, I remember the intro was really good. I think it was probably the same music for... um. Oh yeah, just the intro like... Dun, 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 right, the dun, Danny Elfman dun, dun. music. Exactly. <laughs> you know. Uh, that's amazing. Okay, so next question, super, super serious. Let me start this serious music over again before it gets too messy. Next question, very, very serious. Are you ready? I'm ready. What was your favorite breakfast cereal growing up? Um, Fruit Loops. Fruity Loops, Toucan Sam. That's all I got to say about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Follow your nose. Follow your nose. There it is. That's what I was looking for. I was looking for some sort of connection. Let's say you're making burgers, or you're making hot dogs, or something like that. And uh, and then you're listening to a guy talk to you like this. And he's like, oh, I'm going to put ketchup on my hot dog. What kind of condiments do you like? Uh, I'm pretty classic, just ketchup and mustard, man. That's, do you do... You know, can't go wrong. Do you do mayo on your burgers? On my burgers, yeah. Hot dogs, no. So now that uh, we're at the end of our thing, <laughs> uh, so I'm just going to hit the music. That wasn't the total end. I have one last question to ask you. All right. No segue Alrighty. from our condiments talk. This question is the most serious. All right. Mr. Darth Buick, tell me the single most influential thing from your past, from your yesteryears, something growing up. Just tell me the one thing that makes Darth Buick Darth Buick, starting now. Oh, I'm so glad you asked. Oh, really, I'm sorry. Really We're out of time. Oh, There's no oh. more time left. Sorry, oh, man. Uh, I, I kind of have no regrets, but I will say that you did win at least $14,000. Nice. So well, I'm rich. I don't have to work my day job anymore. For, in, well, for at least, you know. In Canadian three, dollars, three months, that's like months. $12, right? Yeah, in Canadian dollars, I could retire. <laughs> so, uh, you know, people are disappointed because they couldn't hear your story about what inspires you. But if they wanted to find out more about you, where could they do that? Um, you can go to my SoundCloud page at Darth Buick. Well, uh, SoundCloud backslash Darth Buick. Um, I guess SoundCloud is going to be no more pretty soon, so you'll have to find me on my band camp. I don't want to uh, talk Darth about Buick. this. That's too sad. I don't want to talk about that. Yeah, well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to bring it up. <laughs> everything, just got, everything just got really quiet and sullen all of a sudden. Oh, my God. Um, yeah, my band camp, Darth Buick, or my Facebook page, uh, facebook.com backslash Darth Buick. That's amazing. And Darth Buick, thank you for coming on to Lightning Round. Guess what you won? Don't guess, because I'm going to tell you, you have won a home game of Nickelodeon Double Dare, because that's the theme song that's playing right now. Nice. Woohoo!